Arizona win do you give you guys confidence-wise going now on the road to a major event school? For me? Yeah. Um, I think it did like huge for us because we came out and played as a team, and that was a big win versus not a they're not as good this year, but they're still Arizona, and Arizona still gets the respect as they should normally get, and I think it was a big win for us. Um, I mean, we're excited. Uh, back-to-back Pac-10 teams, so I mean that's always a uh, something you look forward to. Um, you know, just going over little details right now in practice and try to figure out little things we can do to to win this game. I mean, uh, Pac-10 games are always uh, resume win games. Even if some people may say that Pac-10's down this year, they're still still good teams, and uh, we feel like Arizona State's probably going to finish in the top three. So, um, real excited about the game. It's going to be an away game. Hopefully, their students aren't there because of Christmas break and stuff like that or something. But uh, I'm gonna try to go in there and get a good win. Um, it feels good. I, um, I like it a lot. I've just been coming out, playing my hardest in the games. The team been helping me out a lot at practice, getting me better. We all just getting ready for Arizona State. It's a um, away game. We haven't really been good on away trips, so we just trying to focus real hard and get this win. I mean, uh, those of us, I mean, those who've seen us, like, play and, uh, you know, like, the games that we have gradually, you, you can tell he's getting better, he's getting more comfortable out there. Um, he's starting to get a feel for, for how he wants to play at this level and it's only beginning for him, you know. He's always there early. He's always uh, he's been a gym rat since he's, since he's got here. And um, just a matter of time. I mean, you guys see what type of player he's becoming. His ability to rebound is outstanding. He's, he's becoming a more intelligent player now. And he's just he's making good decisions out on the court. He's only going to continue to get better and help the team grow. Let me comment on that. I think he's doing well. Like he's always in the gym at nighttime. You walk by the gym, like oh, there goes Kawhi with a basketball. So he's in the gym even when nobody's looking. And I think that's good as a freshman, and just continuing to grow on the court, being a leader, and everything. And, and like we don't, most people don't expect that from a freshman. So I think he's doing well. And only get, the sky's the limit for him. I'm feeling well. I mean, uh, you know, still getting my legs about me. Um, I still feel like I look kind of nervous out there watching film on the little stuff that I do have out there, but I'm um, feeling pretty good. Um, just excited to, to get back going in the, in the swing of things, and um, hopefully I feel like I'm, I'm really, really going to be ready by league, you know, really to, to make the full impact that I hope to make on the team. So. Um, to have Tim back on the court, like it's really my first year with Tim, but as he like got to play and like the game um, came back, he been like a good leader, talking on the court, um, just knowing like you just already knowing like how the game is gonna go. That's how he's been good. He's a great defensive vocal leader. Like if somebody messed up baseline, Tim's right there to help pick up their slack, and he's like. He just talks, and he's like, like love him on the court because he's just like a great leader. No, I guess for uh, for all three of you, playing in tough with you know Pac-10 teams and other uh, teams in the in the NCAA, what's that say about the caliber of, of, uh, of your team? Being able to keep up. I mean, it's um, I feel like it's kind of about time. I mean, uh, Coach Fisher and 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 just the school in general has has worked hard to. You know, an increased caliber of the the program, and I feel like Coach Richard brought the team a long way. I was glad to get the win for him because we hadn't beat beaten Arizona since he's been here and stuff like that. So, I, mean, I thought it was big for our program, big for our team confidence, and uh, big, good, great for our fans. You know, the packed house. They love to see us win. I know there are a lot of the Arizona fans here, and they've kind of put it on us the past couple of years since I've been here. So, you know, just good for the program, good for the team. It's great, great to get a win against the Pac-10 team. I think it's great for San Diego as a whole because I'm from San Diego and before it was just like when they're going to get a, a big win versus their, a top school and it's about time I think and Fisher like he said Fisher brought San Diego State to like the top now so we just got to continue to come out and play hard and, 
and get victories like this. So it can be expected and not, oh, they might get one, they might not. So it has to be expected. We have to continue to work hard and practice and stay focused. It's, it's very important. I mean, um, our conference is really good. I mean, if you look around, it's, it's no surprise that, that a lot of Mountain West teams are beating other, other teams, and it's, it's beginning to kind of be like you're not a surprise to people, you know? We've got a couple ranked teams, and we, we were watching film on BYU players on state earlier today, and they, you know, they beat them. So it's like you watch this stuff, and you're like, hey, they can beat them. We have to be able to beat them. These are the teams that we're going to be playing later on. We, we need this win for our resume win, and then we definitely need to go, go in with that confidence knowing that we can compete with the teams that they're competing with. And it's like you look at the, uh, the rankings and stuff like that that they gave us before the season and even like during the season according to wins and stuff like that. But it's like you just have to go out and, and take every game one at a time, but then look forward to the competition that we're going to have in conference and be ready to go. Talk about the match, the matchups for uh, for Arizona State. Um, they've got a very, very solid uh, point guard in Glasser. He's you know four year starter type of guy. Um, he's really stepped up his uh, his role ever since James Harden has left. You know last year he he's real solid, but he was kind of like you know like you know James Harden was their guy, so it's like you're paying attention to him. But last year Glasser played a key role, and this year I think um, just containing containing him is probably going to be one of the main keys of the game. And just um, just playing our game. We're uh, we're athletic. We run. We're we're good on the boards. You know, <laughs> so it's like we gotta we gotta get good shots up. We just have to play our game, I think, and uh, and just be tough on the road. We get some energy off the bench, and hopefully, I'll provide some of that. Uh, you know, just be ready to go. What, what about their zone? Oh, they have this uh, their matchup man to man zone. It's gonna be pretty tough. We'll 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 see it a little bit. I think with like Air Force and stuff like that too. So uh, it's something we have to work on right now. Getting used to uh, just. Staying low along the baseline and you know sealing a man deep and just good ball movement and just making basketball plays.